previously. I've never seen such a big, incomprehensibly babbling child as you before. <laughs> You're a harsh one, Stella. And so we go. Hello, friends, my name is Internet, and welcome back to Alice Mare. I don't know how long we've got left in this uh, game, but you know what? We're, we're going to do it. Let's do it. Uh, it's the last thing we did, so let's go. We just played with, uh, yeah, Stella. That's right. Don't you do it. Closet here? Um, open, I guess. No kitten. Not unless you're gonna get in my lap. You're gonna get in my lap? Is this my bedroom? Hi. Hi. I see you. I'm covered in glitter. Sit down, please. Hi. Alright. Um. Yep, this is my room. Okay. Good luck with your clothes. This is the only thing I remember. God made the world in six days. People forgot and the world was scattered. Then God made the world in 200 million days. My notebook. Friday of books. Any of these? Mother Goose. Nope. Total is lots of your clothes. Okay. So am I awake? I'm very confused. Hey, Stella. Alan! I'm Alan. Wanna play? I know we've played before, but we still haven't played tag or anything. Let's play. Oh, the teacher will get mad. Oh, hold on, though, I'm sneaking. Rick! Oh, he's asleep. Oh, I can play with Rick, too. Do any of you have anything in your room that I could use? No? Wait, well, let's make sure these are right. Yeah. Have you seen teacher? Maybe he's sleeping in the library again. He gets so cold at night, he's going to catch cold. If teacher gets a cold, he won't be able to eat. Maybe I should bring him a blanket. Maybe. Do you have another goose? Teddy bear. Okay. Uh, Letty and Rick was the dove. Chelsea was the cat. Joshua was the lion. And Stella was the... The zebra. Right? Hey, Alec, got your memory back? Huh, must be hard. I still have to resolve the stuff I want to forget. Why is it so hard to remember? Harder to forget than to remember. Man, my head's hurting again. Better ask teacher this stuff. Strange design. Stella, you like killed yourself and stuff. Good day. I heard that animals go into the earth and say goodnight when it's cold. The people don't dig into the earth until they die. That's strange. I wonder, is it cold when you die? Really? I like some peace and quiet myself. Yes, I like it when it snows. Okay. Alright. I guess I'm going this way. Hello, who are you? Fun to take a look at sometimes, but eventually all he came to do is cleaning food and such himself. Oh, sorry, kid. You kids help too, don't you? And I don't do anything. When we were in college, when he'd never clean anything. He'd have everything scattered, leave the candle lit, and finally just fall asleep in the reference room. I'd say he's not so different now. Huh, he never learns. He's a good guy. Very strange. But if I could tell you anything, it's that your teacher's a good guy. Is he... Is he... Oh, okay. Teacher's room. Do you have Mother Goose in here? Okay. No Mother Goose in this room. What about this way? It's still locked. What about this direction? Still warm. Strange design. It's locked. Okay. I wonder if that other room is locked. Kitty cat. Uh, butterfly room? Butterfly specimen. Any mother goose in here? Can't find any.
Philly cat. You too. No mother goose in here. He said that he was in the library, so let's skip the library for now. Hi. You gonna lay down? Just stay out of the way. And preferably don't do stuff. Is this still locked? Yep, okay. And don't throw up on me, please. Alright, well. Teacher's asleep. Lots of difficult books. Books on illness. Are all of these books on illness? Lots of storybooks. Lots of storybooks. Picture of encyclopedias. All of these are encyclopedias. Okay. I guess there is no mother goose. All right. Can I look at the candle before I talk to him? Yeah. Okay. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, if you don't want to play, let's do it. If you want to play, let's do it tomorrow. I'm sure you're tired too, aren't you, Alice? Good night. What? So, should I go back to my room? Warm. I'm confused. If I don't... I do. What should we do when spring comes? I like summer. That's when my favorite flowers grow. I plant them in the garden. Teacher brought me some seeds. They'll sprout and bud and bloom. It's so wonderful. Will you say something different if I talk to you multiple times? You can stay forever. As long as I have all of you, I don't need any other friends. Okay. Hey, Alan. Got your memory back? Teacher's always got a bed in his room, but he's always sleeping on the stuff in the library. He's got to be cold enough to put a jacket, so I'll put a bunch of frogs in there with him. Might not have enough frogs, they're small. Hmm. Hey, Alan, help me out. Give me that look. I'm just Josh. I'm sure it's cold, though. Okay. Let's make sure she doesn't have anything else to say. Are you just going to say the same thing? Okay. So, everybody's talking about how cold it is. Alright. Can I go outside? Nope. The only place I know that's warm is the uh, fireplace. It's still a little warm. Can't do anything with it though. Maybe I can take his blanket? No? Did you have anything else to say? Yeah, I work at the hospital, but I have more fun playing with you guys. So that's work for you. It makes play feel more like fun. I think you guys love to play because you don't like to study. Just don't push him too hard. He always holds up in the lab. He hasn't exercised in years. Said I could beat him in a foot race by walking. Just kidding. Don't get mad. So he's not stable for a bit, but I'm relieved he's being a proper teacher now. Well, maybe things still aren't too stable. He's got to do what he can all on his own. As someone he calls his best friend, it's a little heartbreaking. And now you're just saying that over and over again. Okay. What about this phone? Teacher.
Can I go, I guess? Hospital. I'm in a hospital. A terrifying hospital, for that matter. Hello? Hmm. What? There's something on my face. You already know where this is, don't you? No, the key to the next room. You want the key? Well, can you bring me a ribbon? A red one would be nice. I'll give you the key for one. You want the key? Yes. Can you bring me a ribbon? A red one. Okay. Other pen. Oh, sorry. I was concentrating. Mind playing a little game. I'm getting bored. Well? Uh, not at the moment. Oh, too bad. Let me save. I'm really confused by what's going on. Uh, sure. I'm glad. Just Im imitate the sounds of the animals I tell you. No, no, it's not embarrassing. I'm the only one looking. Alright, let's go. I'll only say it once. Cat, dog, frog. Meow. Wolf. Ribbit. Correct. There's more. Cow, cat, frog, cat, pig. Cow, cat. Uh. Damn it. Sure. Cat, dog, frog. Cat, dog, frog. Cow, cat, frog, cat, pig. Cow, cat, frog, cat, pig. Correct. Pretty good at those imitations. Gosh, I really enjoyed that. Right, have these. Tain leg warmers. Play again sometime. I don't know why I did that, but okay. Oh, you've got something good. Could you give that to me? Sorry, but it's just so cold. Sure. Oh, thank you. So warm. Can I make one more request of you? I want some warm soup. The ingredients are all in the kitchen. Oh, yes, and I want it heated so there's just a little bit of veggies left. Thanks in advance. Sure. Mother Goose, Mother Goose, are you in this place? Hmm. feel like there should be a Mother Goose here. Hold on. I wanted to double check this. Yeah, it's good. Sometimes it likes to unfocus, so I wanted to make sure it was still focused. Okay. Uh, I don't know the answer. No pin either. Can I give you... Uh, God damn it. Ink. And a feather quill. If I go back and get this ink and feather quill, will you take it? Oh. Coffee. Filled with various vegetables. Take them. There's a pa scrap of paper in the basket. Obtain a notebook scrap. Bad people should be axed. Then everyone will be happy. That's what the cat said. I would axing them do that. And did the cat really say that? I don't even know that for sure. You should just ax them. Uh, I'm sleepy. Good night. Empty. Filled with mushrooms. Kitchen counter. Kitchen counter. Pot. Boil the vegetables. Now what? Keep boiling. Now what? Never mind. Tain soup. I think I did it right. I'm also going to see if I can get this pin. Nope. Did I get this right? Oh, you made soup. Thank you. I'll be having this. No, the soup has no flavor. That's fine. It warmed me up. I get things. Yes, yes, this. Contain a pin. Just bought a new pin, so I don't need that one anymore. Thank you. I can go give it to this dude. You have you have a pin? Ugh, thank goodness. No, no, thank goodness. See, I can't figure out this problem. It's not like I have to solve it, but it'd be a load off, you know? There's this type of cat. They're very strange cats. After 10 days, they get pregnant, and 80 more, they have kittens. In 10 more days, they're pregnant again. At first, they have two kittens, one male and one female, equally divided. Next time, they have four, then six. And the kittens, after 40 days, become adults capable of pregnancy. And we have one of those strange cats right here, white and cute and fluffy. If I keep her for one year, how many will I have at an end? That's the question. Could you tell me if you get it? I'll do my best to figure it out, too. Ten days, 
they get pregnant. There's 365 days in a year. Here, I'll get the calculator open for this. And my notes. Here, okay. We get that. And then we're going to get, not cat, calculator. And we'll get this open. So, there's 365 days in a year, yeah? And after 10 days, they get pregnant. So, we're going to 365 minus 10. It's obviously 355. Equals 355. That's 355 days. And then in 80 more, they have kittens. So minus 80. 355 minus 80 equals to 75. Two kittens. One male. One. Oops, I did that wrong. One male, one female. Okay, awesome. And then we're gonna do 275 minus 10 days. Obviously is 265, 265, 265. and then Four and then six. So it goes up by two each time, equally divided. And the kittens, after 40 days, become adults capable of pregnancy. So kittens, after 40 days, become adults. Oh, but wait a minute. I'm doing all this, but they don't have another cat. You only have one cat because you don't have another one. Wait a moment. Oh, you're right. I'm doing all this math. and Yeah, you don't have another cat. Oh, you're right. What? Only one? Why? Oh, that's right. She wouldn't get pregnant without a partner. Uh, I feel kind of let down, but myself mostly. No, that's fine. Thank you. I feel much better meow now. Well, I'd like to reward you. How about this? Do you want this? That's absolutely fine. You can take it if you like. Container red ribbon. Will you put it on? Should I put it on for you? Just kidding. I know that my oldest sister asked you for this. Quite the messenger boy, aren't we? Yeah, here I am trying to do all this math. Let me just close this. And close this. There we go. It was the male and the female part that got me. All right, you wanted this ribbon, right? Oh, wonderful, you brought one. Thanks, I always lose my ribbons right away. Here's the key, as promised. Stay in the passage key. I have nothing else for you. This, you want it? It's not very useful for notes. My pit won't write on it. In a notebook scrap. Bugs flew all around me. I walked along the ground. A chair talked. I was surprised. I cat saw it and laughed like a fool. Everything got strange once I opened that door. But I don't know which one is strange. Is it me or is it this world? Oh, I just don't know. I don't know anything. <sighs> okay, well, looks like a great place to save. Hmm. I can go now? Hell yeah. I'm not gonna uh, fuck. Uh, I'll play a game of new Tetris, damn it. Where to God? This game is addicting as fuck. Ah, it's not where I meant to put that. Oh well. Um, can I? Yes, I can. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. That's all right. I'll look at this line, and then I can put this. 
and where I actually want to put it. Okay, that's fine. Put this right here. This on top of it. Okay. Okay. There we go. Now I can put that back there. Okay. There we go. Did I reach level two at least? Okay. Who? No. You don't need to say it, because neither do I. Are you lost? I see. Well, so am I. I've searched all over this place, but I can't find it. Do you mind if I come with you? Alright, thanks. <laughs> Maybe with someone else, I might find something different. We need to borrow the passage key again. Let's go to the directory. Me? Right. Well, call me what you like. I hate my name. Anyway, nice to meet you. Locked. Most of the doors and passages here have locks. The boo, if we ask the director, we can borrow the key. The director's room is over there to the right. My key is only for going outside, and it's my world key, so we can't use it. Alright. Is there a mother goose in here? Probably in this cabinet. Yep. Monday's child is fair of face. Monday's child is fair of face. Tuesday's child is full of grace. Wednesday's child is full of will. Thursday's child has far to go. Friday's child is loving and giving. Saturday's child works hard for a living. The, and that child is born on the Sabbath day. Is bony and blithe and good and gay. Interesting. Monday's child is fair of face. Tuesday's child is full of grace. Wednesday's child is full of woe. Thursday's child has far to go. Friday's child is loving and giving. Saturday's child works hard for a living. And the child that is born on the Sabbath day is bonny and blithe and good and gay. Interesting. Okay. Calendar. What day of the week were you born? You don't know? Well then, tell me the date. Sunday. Sabbath day. Excellent. Me? I was born on Wednesday. Not many people believe in this sort of thing, but I do. Maybe it runs in the family, given my mom and dad. Wednesday's child is full of woe. That's so sad. Why are you full of woe? Guessing that's the director, so let's go over here. Gotta be careful, it's cracked. Sorry, my hand is cold, isn't it? I'm sure it's because I don't know warmth. You're so kind. Now I realize, only now, much too late, your hands are warm. All right, let's go. I don't see any um, pieces of X in here. Good day. Mr. Director, I want to go into the middle room. Can I borrow the key? Hmm? Didn't you borrow it earlier? I mean, it's fine, but make sure to return it. Yeah, but only if you can solve my riddle. If there were three of me, I'd be able to eat three apples in three minutes. So, an apple a minute? If there were 100 apples and 100 of me, how many minutes would it take to eat them all? Solve that and I'll give you the key, but you only get three shots. Mr. Director, only three, no more, no less. Tell me once you have it. Huh, you got all weird, kind of, a, all, weird all of a sudden. I know why, though. All right, think over it carefully. I'm not the one being asked. You think about it. Okay, I bet it it's because it takes each of you to three minutes to eat an apple, so I'm actually gonna go all the way back to the top and save. Three shots, got it? Tell me whichever number will do. Three minutes. Correct! Alright, check the far right bookshelf. You have to listen to what the heart says. If you don't, the heart, your heart will attack you. Small piece of paper. Question two. It took three of me three minutes to eat three apples. What's the minimum number of me it takes to eat a hundred apples in a hundred minutes? Pesky heart. We don't have time for this. I'll leave this to you. 
Looking closer, there's another paper. In a notebook scrap. Okay. The ant told me that the frog is bad. The frog told me that the cat is bad. The cat told me no, the rabbit is the worst of them all. So I asked them. Okay. So it takes him one apple in three minutes. Let's get that calculator back up. Um, he can eat one apple a minute. So, one apple a m one apple every three minutes. Three times one hundred, three hundred minutes. I have a message. Who is it from? So, 300 minutes, right? Question two. Wait, 100 apples in 100 minutes. Wrong, too bad, two more shots. Yeah. Nine minutes for nine. Is it 99? <laughs> yeah, I figured. I'm very confused. Okay. You gotta eat a hundred apples in a hundred minutes. So. <sighs> One apple takes a person three minutes to eat one apple. So if there were a hundred of them, it would take 300 minutes. So if I wanted to do it in a hundred minutes, wouldn't it just be a hundred? But that didn't work. Nine for nine, twelve for twelve. Okay. Thirty three. No, it's not thirty three. It's not ninety nine. Hundred apples times thirty minutes for each is three hundred minutes. I tried a hundred already. So a hundred minutes. How many apples would he eat in a hundred? He would only eat thirty three apples. I'm 
I'm so confused. What was the hint? Wait. I forgot to save after this. Sorry about the mouse. Alright, so we're gonna do this. And then go through all this. And then save again. Took three of me, three minutes to eat three apples. You can eat an apple in three minutes. Took three of you three minutes to eat three apples. Six of you six minutes to eat six apples. No, six of you it still take three minutes to eat six apples. Okay, hold on. I'm looking at this wrong. So, it takes three of them three minutes to eat three apples. Right? So, three, 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 six, three, six, nine, three, nine. Yeah. Because it would always take three minutes. If it, if I have one hundred people. It'd take three minutes to eat a hundred apples, right? So, I need to figure out how many it would take to scale that down. So if I half it, it would take 50 people six minutes to eat a hundred apples, right? It would take, 25 people, 12 minutes to eat 100 apples. Okay. It would take 25 divided by 2. 12.5. Uh, take 24 minutes to eat 100 apples. So if I keep scaling this up, wouldn't it take 34 people? No, because 25 people only takes 12 minutes. So I I'm I'm I know that I'm probably going about this a weird way. It would take three minutes to eat a hundred if there were a hundred people. So One person times three minutes an apple. Three minutes an apple and a hundred apples. So two people at three minutes an apple. Two 
2 times 3, 100 divided, mm. Hundred apples in a hundred minutes. I think we just keep going by this. Is twelve divided by oh no point no twelve point five divided by two. Take 6.25, 56 minutes to eat 100 apples. Divided by 2, it would take 3.125, 112 to eat a hundred apples. So I'm gonna go with four. Four. Correct. Awesome. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Good, we got it. That surprised me. No, it's nothing. <sighs> Christ almighty. That was way more difficult than it should have been. No, I don't need to go this way. I need to go that way. Holy crap. I have multiple problems with this. Cold. Yeah, he was a great guy. Really. I was telling him to go visit him tomorrow, but it seems like he was troubled. I'm just gonna say the same thing. Yep, okay. Calm down, calm down. I don't even care about that guy. I'm more concerned with not being able to play outside until this is settled. He was dead when I got here. Ugh, I'm so scared. We found him first, the person next to me, but he hasn't said a word. This seems complicated. Hmm. This person seems to know something. Uh, excuse me, can we talk? He seems to be deaf. Do you know sign language? I see, that's a problem. How else can we talk with someone who's deaf? You could write. Lots of hard work, handle hard words and charts. These are mine. It'll probably, it's probably too much for you still. Did all kinds of research. A long time ago, that is. I was even praised for it. And even won awards. No, I don't do that anymore. No, it's not really because I got tired of it. And well, I guess it's also true that I'm not g good being around lots of people. But really, white couldn't be any less appropriate for me. Other pin. Uh. Strange design. You don't know this? It's a map of the world. The world is so big. Plus, in different places, they usually eat things and speak differently. If you're interested, too, maybe I could take you around the world. I can use paper. I got paper and pen in here, right? Do you drink coffee? I do. That's unusual. Never had it black. I always put lots of sugar in the milk. The friend says I always look bitter, and he says me to drink. Tells me to drink really sweet coffee. He's so rude. Mine is actually black coffee. Black is my soul. Okay. I see the paper and pen. I guess you can write things to each other. Oh, what is it? A pen? Sure. I don't need it anymore. I don't have any paper. One of my sisters might to do. Let's get the paper from somewhere else. Indeed. You have paper? Paper? Yes, certainly. I just have this writing paper. Oh my, it's you. I'm looking forward to your book being completed, you know. This again. Oh well, thank you very much. What is it? I'm busy. Could you please not bother me? Other pen. Let's play again sometime. Okay. Now what should I do here? Alright, I guess I could go back and write stuff down. Uh, 
Okay. Can I just write to you? Hold on. Do you know anything about what's going on? Pen, there isn't... This isn't the language they speak here. It'll be fine. I'll be fine. You only know one language, right? Yes, I haven't taught you. It's too soon for your ch you children to do that kind of study. You children. I'll give it a shot. Give me some time. All right, here we go. There was a detective who talked to each person here, but suddenly the lights went out and his throat was slit. Seems he had poor hearing. Before he died, there was five people in the room. The same ones are here now. We'll call them A, B, C, D, and E. They were asked what they were doing before the murder. A. I was doing some reading here, then it suddenly went dark and I dozed off. I didn't know he was dead until I woke. B. He was murdered? Really? He wasn't a bad guy, though. To stab him with a knife like that? C. I just wanted to play outside. I was here for some tools. I don't know anything about him. Tools? D. Calm down. I can't believe he was dragged here. Those footprints are big. It must have been a man. Footprints. Or D. Yeah, I was here, but I left right away. He wasn't even he here then. I know the answer, but you have to answer it. It has to be someone else who interferes with the heart. There are two culprits. Good luck. He wasn't dragged here. Uh. D. And E. Nope. Think it over one more time. Plus, the culprits are still here. We might not have much time. Assuming here, it suddenly went dark and I dozed off. Didn't know he was dead until I woke. Hmm. B and D? I'll say B and D. Right. I explained it. As he seems to understand, it should be fine now. Killing a person, what an awful thing to do. Let's go. Don't mention it. Why do I know so much? Because I've been here before. Nothing's changed. Not since then. Are you going? Not yet. Uh... I guess I'm ready to... Go. I feel like I'm missing something now. I'm gonna save just in case I'm missing something. Yep. Oh, brother. What is this mess? Can't see anything. Okay, you know what? Probably don't have a lot of this left, so I'm actually going to end that episode there. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next episode of whatever I decide to make. Internet setting out.